Hey everyone, in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna take a tour with Sensor MPU6000. To have a better idea for this, go to controleverything.com and search for MPU6000. So, MPU6000 is a 6 axis motion tracking, 3 axis gyroscope, 3 axis accelerometer digital motion processor. I will be interfacing it with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code. For Python code, go to resource tab and here is our Python code. Click on the Python code and you can download the code from here. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository control everything community. Now let's have a better look over the connections of the hardware and let's proceed further. Now to the hardware connections part. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi which you are able to see on my screen and these are the GPIO pins of the Pi. This is an I2C shield which is very useful in making connections with other I2C devices rather easy. Make this connection and place the I2C shield over the GPIO pins like this. Now this is a sensor which is MPU6000 and this is a connecting cable. Make this connection of the connecting cable and the sensor like this. Uh, while making this connection, please make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly to the I2C shield. Now to power up our Pi, we need a micro USB cable just like this and insert it here. And this is an Ethernet cable. This is useful in uh, making internet connection. Uh, place it over the Ethernet jack like this. And if you don't have an Ethernet cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module just like here. So these are the hardware connections which we will require in this project. For the interfacing uh, with the sensor, we need a Python code. So go to github.com and here search for control everything community just like here. Click on this and here type in MPU6000 as you can see on my screen and here is our sensor. Now this is our python code. One important instruction is that we have used SMBus library on our Raspberry Pi as you can see on my screen and this link provides the instruction to install the SMBus on the Pi. So please follow these instructions carefully and this is the command to run our python code. Now get back to the code. Our code is with .py extension as you can see. The first step we have taken is to import SMBus. Now 0x68 is the address of our sensor MPU6000. Coming to the writing section, we have selected gyroscope configuration register 0x1b and have sent a command for full scale range of 2000 degrees per second which is 0x18 and this is the right command for that. Now we have selected accelerometer configuration register which is 0x1c and have a full scale range of plus minus 16g and it's 0x18 for that this is the right command for that for power management register it's 0x6b and we have PLL with x gyro reference which says 0x01 for that uh, this is the right command for that now coming to the reading section we have first read 6 bytes of data from 0x3b and it's the 6 bytes for acceleration data it has x axis y axis and z axis this is the command for that this is the conversion for the acceleration data as you can see and it's described in the data sheet similarly we have 6 bytes of data and the conversion for gyroscope x axis y axis and z axis at the end of the code we have our data in the form of acceleration in x axis y z and similarly rotation in x axis y and z so this is how our code is. Now let's proceed with the working with the sensor. For the working part, first of all copy this entire python code and go to the terminal. Here create a new file with the name and .py extension as you can see. Paste this entire code and save it. Now this is a command to run the Python code as you can see on my screen and here it is. Now when I'm rotating it, there's a change in acceleration and rotation. Again, rotating and sending the command, we have change in acceleration and rotation 
for x, y, and z axis. So this is how our code works. Now let's see how it proceeds further. So we have just seen the working of motion tracking sensor MPU6000 being the world's first integrated 6-axis motion tracking device that combines 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer and digital motion processor in a small package. It's being adopted by smartphones and tablets manufacturer. They find use in large applications like enhanced gaming, augmented reality, vehicle, pedestrian navigation and so on. The sensor is available on our website controlEverything.com. The Python code is available on this very site as shown earlier. The Python code is also available on our GitHub repository Control Everything community. In case if you have any further queries, you can contact us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page. If you have want to have some article and blogs of ours, you can check us on hex.io and also on Instructables. For more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a good day and thanks for watching.